Welcome back to our CompTIA Plus Core 1 course. In today's video we are diving into the world of mobile device batteries. This includes the batteries found in smartphones, tablets and laptops. Understanding how these batteries work, how to maintain them and how to troubleshoot issues is essential for IT support professionals. So let's jump in. Mobile devices typically use two main types of batteries, lithium ion and lithium polymer. However, with advances in technology, a third hybrid battery type is also common, which blends elements of both lithium ion and lithium polymer and it is lithium ion polymer battery. Let's explore each of these three types of batteries and understand their characteristics. First, lithium ion batteries are widely used in smartphones, tablets and laptops. These batteries are known for their high energy density, meaning they can store a lot of power in a compact size. They also have a self-discharge rate, which allows them to retain charge when not in use. All of these three types of batteries are rechargeable and typically last for 3 to 500 full charge cycles. However, over the time their capacity decreases, resulting in a short battery life as they age. Next we have lithium polymer batteries. These batteries use a polymer electrolyte rather than a liquid one, allowing for more flexible, often thinner design. This makes them ideal for ultra thin devices like certain smartphones and tablets, and they are also safer than lithium ion batteries, as they are less prone to leaking or swelling. However, like lithium ion batteries, lithium polymer batteries also degrade over time, losing their ability to hold the charge as effectively after repeated cycles. And now let's talk about third hybrid type of batteries that combines the characteristics of both lithium ion and lithium polymer batteries. These lithium ion polymer batteries use elements of both technologies. They have the higher energy density of lithium ion, but the flexible form factor of lithium polymer. You can find these batteries in a wide range of modern devices as they balance efficiency, safety and design flexibility. In practice, these lithium ion polymer batteries have blurred the line between lithium ion and lithium polymer technologies. They offer the advantages of both high energy capacity with thin and flexible design, making them a popular choice for smartphones, tablets, and even laptops. And talking about prices, the cheapest one is the lithium ion batteries, and the most expensive in the range of these three batteries are the lithium polymer batteries. And in between stands these lithium ion polymer batteries. Laptops, which are also mobile devices can use lithium ion, lithium polymer or the hybrid lithium ion polymer batteries. Laptop batteries are larger than those in smartphones and tablets, allowing them to power laptops for extended periods. Some laptop batteries are internal and are built in into the laptops and require disassembly for a replacement, while others are external and can easily be swapped out and changed. To keep your device's battery healthy, it's important to understand what can damage it. Here are some key factors to avoid. Physical impact. Dropping or hitting your device can cause internal battery damage leading to swelling or leaks. Extreme temperatures. Both high heat and extreme cold can degrade the battery's performance and lifespan. Always avoid exposing your device to these extremes. Overcharging. Leaving your device plugged in after it's fully charged can strain the battery over time. Excessive up usage. Running too many apps simultaneously can use your device to overheat, which drains the battery faster. Close unused apps to manage power consumption. Using incorrect chargers. Always use manufacturers recommended chargers and cables. Using the wrong ones can damage the battery. And to extend your battery's lifespan, follow these best practices. Avoid extreme temperatures. Keep your device with its recommended temperature range. Optimize settings, reduce screen brightness, disable unused features like Bluetooth and GPS and use battery saving modes. Monitor app usage. Regularly check which apps are consuming the most power by looking at the battery usage statistics in your device settings. Now let's talk about troubleshooting battery issues. One of the most useful tools for diagnosing battery problems is multimeter. A multimeter is a device used to measure electrical properties such as voltage, current and resistance. 
In the context of battery troubleshooting, it helps you check the voltage of the battery to see if it's holding the current charge. For example, if you are testing a smartphone battery, compare the multimeter reading with the rated voltage that's typically marked on the battery. If the voltage is significantly lower than expected, or if the battery is swollen, it's a sign that battery should be replaced. Remember that multimeters aren't just for mobile or laptop batteries. You can use them to test wide wide variety of batteries, from car batteries to standard AA batteries. This makes multimeter an essential tool for IT support professionals and anyone working with electronics. When troubleshooting, if your device's battery isn't charging, there are several possible causes to investigate. First, check the charger and cable. Often faulty charger or damaged cable is the problem. Try using different charger and cables that you know works to see if the issue is resolved. Inspect charger port. Dirt or debris in the charging port can prevent a proper connection. Clean the port gently using a soft brush or compressed ear. Software issues. Sometimes outdated software can cause charging issues. Make sure your device software is up to date and try restarting it to see if that helps. Battery wear. If your battery is old, has been through many charge cycles, it might simply be worn out and need to be replaced. In summary, understanding mobile device batteries, whether they are lithium ion, lithium polymer or hybrid lithium ion polymer, is essential for maintaining optimal device performance. By using tools like multimeter, following the best practices and knowing how to troubleshoot common issues, you can extend the life of your device's battery and ensure Sure safety. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And to watch all Compti A Plus Core 1 course study videos, find the link to the full playlist in the first pinned comment and description of this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.